Hi everyone, it's Dawn, and I'm sure everyone who's about to take a princess cruise and was reading all about the medallion was quite sure that, well, <laughs> the cruise card, well, thing of the past, right? Yeah, well, not so quick. So let's quickly talk about the Princess Medallion and what it is. If you know anything about magic bands like at Disney World where you wear the little wristband around your wrist, that's basically the medallion. It's the, under basically the exact same type of service. It will track your movements, it tracks your purchases, you can make payments with it, it opens your stateroom, it will help you track your luggage, you can track other people on the ship in your party and find out where they are. So if your kids go missing, say on a large ship, the uh, Ocean Medallion will help you find them. You could be sitting somewhere in the pool, talk to a waiter, order a set of drinks, and then decide, you know what, I don't see the movie that I'm trying to watch very well from here or move to another area, the waiter can still find out where you are on the ship. All these kind of things will be tracked. It will keep track of what kind of purchases you like. Do you like to visit the spa? What kind of services do you like to do in the spa? And that way, the next time you cruise on a princess cruise that's Ocean Medallion ready, you will be offered specials for those types of events. So if you like getting facials, if there's a facial special going on, they will send you a notice uh, all about that on your app. And uh, it's just basically an updated card is all it is where you can, you don't have to wear your card, it's more like a wristwatch now. But all this was being touted and all the good things about it and some of it sounds really great and I don't have any issues with it. I've been to Disney World, it works fine. They're, they're not an evil corporation following me around the park. <laughs> Just like Princess isn't gonna follow me around the ship. And if you think that they don't know your purchases and your tracking information and how many spa visits you do now, you're dreaming because it's all on record. They know every single time you've been to a spa. So just because it's part of the medallion tracking system doesn't mean they don't already have that information. So don't worry about those sort of things. Uh, people uh, tend to come out with naysaying right away, oh, they know too much information, but they, this is all information they already know. So it's not anything surprising. Now, when Princess announced the ocean medallion things out, they even came out boasting that they're going to put out eight more ships into the Ocean Medallion list and we're rolling out the Royal in January and uh, people sailing in March and April and May have discovered no, uh, there is no Ocean Medallion ready because it's not fully up and running yet. Even on the Regal Princess, it's set up on these ships. They have them and the capability there it's just not running properly. So they're testing a few hundred staterooms at a time. And they're gonna to continue to test these staterooms until they make sure that the system is running perfectly before again launching it fleet wide. They may get the ships ready for the medallion. So when the Royal and the Ruby and all, well the Royal's been done, but if the Ruby goes in for it's dry dock or servicing, they may get it ready at that time, but they won't launch it, they say, until the fully functional, the entire ship of the Regal is up and running and running perfectly. And right now, it's not. Now, you know we have that group cruise coming up in April of next year. Uh, that's almost 18 months after the Regal was supposed to be up and running fully with the medallion. So. Let's hope by our cruise it's up and running and we get to be uh, some of the first people when the ship is fully functional. One of the things that I do have a bit of a watch out for on the Ocean Medallion is it comes with Wi-Fi and attachments and you can download apps. Uh, 
and you can watch shows. Like if you're in this in in your stateroom in Princess, you can bring up shows, and the, they talk about some destinations, and they have this traveling blogger who's out there, and he's showing you around, and it's all fun stuff like that to watch. But they're also coming out with games, and by games, I mean gambling. So there's going to be gambling for bingo. There's you can play roulette, you can play slots all on your phone or on your tablet, even in the uh, and basically anywhere on the ship. You could be dining and gambling at the same time. So these are games for your children. So if you have kids who are hooked up to this, make sure that none of those apps are activated or you may end up with a huge credit card bill at the end. Make sure your kids don't have access to your credit cards when you're hooking this up. Just like your card, your cruise cards, you don't want to give your kids access to your money on a credit card. So yeah, that's a big watch out warning for me. Make sure that the apps are unavailable to your children, especially since it just looks like games and it's colorful and it's shiny lights and it's gambling. And you know how fast you can lose a ton of money. And the odds of your children winning you $20,000 on a cruise compared to losing you $20,000, yeah, you get the picture. So that's one big watch out I had. As far as when everything is going to be rolled out, they were saying the Royal was going to be launched in January. Other ships and everybody else was was going to be done before December of this year. None of that is happening right now. Like I said, they may have the system in place, but none of it's being rolled out. They told us in the future they are going to roll out a new schedule once they are up and running with the Regal. The Regal is not up and running fully yet, so no, you are not. We don't, we don't have an updated posting schedule for any other ships yet. I, I'm on the Royal in 50 days from now, and I can pretty much guarantee you I won't see any medallion operations, even though the ship is ready, on that cruise. So that's what's happening with the Ocean Medallion. It does look like it has some fun features. I like the fact that I could order a drink anywhere. I can order a drink in the theater on my app and they will find and know what seat I'm at and locate me and it's automatically charged or it automatically goes on my drink package which if I have a drink package. I like that idea. I do not like the idea of the gambling on the apps. Uh, if you want to gamble, the casino's open 24 hours. And I just don't like the fact that it seems like an opportunity for teenagers and children to get a hold of it by accident. And that's my big watch out in Medallion. So stay tuned for further news uh, with the Medallion, when they're gonna get it fully functional, when it's gonna launch, who knows. But currently, yeah, only a few hundred cabins are being tested on the Regal Princess, and that's it. None of the other ships are getting it right now. So, like everyone else, we have to stay tuned. I hope you like this video. I hope you like the update and the watch out. So, going forward, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world, Please hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.